Well, on accordion flower wands. Today I'd love to show you how I created this beautiful double headed flower wand. It has a lot of lace with it. Well not lace, I should say ribbons. It has, this one has two different size of little pearl beads. And the base has some ribbon. I also put some butterflies on, some little flowers under here. And the butterflies, I went around the edges with stickles and I used Twinkle. And I also used Stardust. I love those little uh, stickles. They really are pretty cool. So anyway, I'd like to show you how to make this today. Now, like I was started to say, the base of this is made with a straw. In fact, this one's made with two straws that I had taped together, which we'll do with these. And inside I inserted a skewer. Now, the reason I did that was because when I started making the double-headed flower wands, they got too heavy. And the more stuff I embellished them with, the heavier they got. And then unfortunately, the straw grew weaker at the top. And then it would start to bend and it didn't, didn't work out too well as a bent flower wand. So I used an empty ribbon spool and I hole punched three holes in it. One for the dowel and, or the straw and one on each side of that for the ribbon bunches. On this one I wrapped it with ribbon and this is two straws. You can see the height difference on these by using a single straw and a double straw. So here's a single and then this is a double straw, but I cut it down to the size of a barbecue skewer. In the center of this, I used washi tape around the, I used washi tape around the ribbon spool so that it would match the flower. The head of the flowers. These are not just a, an accordion uh, fold. I actually made these with the die. And this one I made with the die by Caitlin Lazardi. Looks like this. Now the full <coughs> cut out of the die of the large die is that big. As you can see here, let's see if I can figure this out. It's the full size of the die. And the die is um, about five and a half inches. So you end up with a nice Just about 11 inch flower. Now on the other side, I put the three together so I could see what it looks like. This center piece here is made with half of this die. So the center is right about there. So you can see that it makes this one. And half of the die is about three and one fourth inches. So that gives you a nice little six and a half inch flower here. And the center here is made with what they call the small portion of the die. And I may have actually cut it down just slightly 
to make it a little bit smaller. So don't be afraid of these dies. You can cut them at different lengths and once the paper is on there, you know, you can cut some from here up or the whole thing or you can make all kinds of sizes with these. It's really quite wonderful. I use the Prima Marketing uh, 12 by, I bought a 12 by 12 paper pad. Tales of You and Me by Frank Garcia. And it is a double sided paper. I absolutely love this paper. I bought two packs. I've made some mini albums with it. Um, I sold a bunch of journals and stuff with it. And uh, it's just been a really popular paper with me and and I, I have been really enjoyed it. So that's what we're going to make this flower out of today. So with our die cutting machine, I actually used two pieces of paper. So a lot of people have really good luck at keeping things together. I am not so good at that sometimes. Where did my... Oh, here it is. I use washi tape. And the first thing I do is I put a little piece of tape on the bottom just to hold it together and keep it nice and even for me. Then I go ahead, place this on here tape it at the top and once again I tape it at the base. You really don't need to do that probably but I really do. Now we're gonna I, I'm pretty sure on this one I use the the medium width. I'll just I only have one piece of paper here, so I'm going to just show you cutting one. But I still do it the same way. I tape it top and bottom just because I'm kind of a lousy, I'm kind of lousy at cutting these things without something holding them down. <clears throat> so let me grab my cutting machine. I have a Big Shot Plus and you see here I have <laughs> one pad that is just bent and really used up. I just got some new ones but today we're just going to use this old one and if it finally cracks I'll toss it. And then I'm trying to use my new ones but I made a mistake and I ended up turning the cutting pieces toward it but I'm trying to keep them uh, better at least keep a good one on the base so since we're going to put the cutting one on top we want to put these the blade face up and let's see I think they cut better this way at the longer way. It's okay if it makes noise. It does that. Sounds horrible. Kind of sounds like glass is breaking. <laughs> I'm going to roll it back through. There we go. Let me put my machine down. And I'll remove these. And we'll see if they actually cut right. We hope so, huh? Let me put these away. Okay. 
Now I do find that the tape kind of sticks to them, but it does look like we were able to print it out or cut it out pretty good. I bought this <laughs> and I tried this. It does work pretty good, but when they're doubled, not as well. So I just go through and poke those little things out with my little poking tool here. I usually use this for like score tape to get it started. There we go. And I know there's two. Now the one thing that it does is that uh, the big big shot is really good at rolling things through and it does adhere the washi tape pretty good to the paper so you have to gently peel that off. Now to clean out your die this works pretty good. This stuff sticks right to the mat if it all comes out and then you just shake it off in your garbage so it does help keep the table a little cleaner and this one let's see how it did now this one I just shake off in the garbage the holes are large enough that you pat it on the side of your garbage can and everything just shakes right out of it. There we go. Okay. So now you need to accordion fold these. The best way I found to remind myself how to put these together the way I want them to fold is to start with the short, the, the shorter width flower petal, the single, and to fold it back. And then of course we're just accordion folding from here. So there we go. Now the other thing that I did on this flower that I didn't do on the others was I put ink on them because I came across this beautiful ink. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's rose gold and it is so smooth and glides on. It's kind of like a brand new lipstick. It's wonderful. So what I found Oh, I love that pad. What I found was to, the easiest way to get your ink to there is to fold it over. And that inked it. And then I also inked the crease coming up. Just like that. So I just wanted to try this, see what it did. And then of course I went ahead and inked the sides. Really probably don't need to on this one since I'm not inking those. It kind of gives it a rose gold around the edge. I like it. Rose gold is one of my favorites right now. So I enjoyed that very much. Okay, what next? So let's start by moving some of this stuff because there's an awful lot of it there. I need to tell you how many I cut for this flower. I cut six of the small ones. 
and I cut six of the big ones. Now I don't know if we're going to need that many. Sometimes I do five, sometimes I do six. Sometimes I do less. Today we're going to try six. Oh, let me get that out of the way. And that. First, we're going to talk about our butterfly right here. And you'll notice, oh, I hope it'll focus. On the butterfly, I put a little bit of the stickles around the edges. That's Twinkle. So I would suggest that you, if you want to bling up your butterfly, um, you go around the edge with your stardust tw twinkles, stickles, and you set these, set it aside and let it dry. That way when you're done with your wand, you will be able to apply it. So let's start by building our straw. <clears throat> Need the ice resin. So you can see that the straw is longer than the skewer. So we're going to cut the straw off to meet the skewer. We are going to leave this end about an eighth of an inch. Well, maybe about a fourth of an inch shorter than the straw. And then we want this skewer to go clear up to the top. So we're going to cut it right there. And what did I do with my scissors? There they are. Here we go. And then you can keep that if you want to make a little tiny wand. Or you can toss it in your recycle bin. So I need to tape this. I just used score tape. Put it on the half and take the flat end, not the end you cut. Stick those together really as tight as you can and as even as you can. And roll that right around. Now right now it's pretty weak. You don't want to mess with it too much. So we're going to put the skewer in it. Make sure it fits. And it does. And we do have some room in there for putting hot glue. And then we can put our stuff in it. So then what I did <clears throat> to strengthen this up even more and to keep it as much a part of the straw as I could is I put hot glue on it. So I just ran hot glue in there. Now be careful. I put it down through the top. And then I got my trusty little towel here. And that's good because I still have that extra space there. I'm going to use that to put ribbon at the base and put a little brad in there that'll get hot glued in there. 
Okay, so now we're going to decorate the outside. We are going to do that with ribbon. There we go. Now I found the easiest way to do this was to use my good wrench, I believe. Whoops, that stays over there. I found the easiest way to apply this score tape to ribbon was to use my knuckles to hold it down tight over here as I'm pulling the tape here. It's still not easy and it still messes up, especially the longer it gets. The ribbon twists a little more. Gosh, I hope I'm staying in the camera. Kind of focusing on it here. You'll let me know if I'm getting out of the camera too much. Well, that's working pretty good actually. Ribbon that is wider than this, that is too thick, actually doesn't wrap around the straws very well. This is 3 8 inch. However, I did find that this really nice wider stuff wrapped really well around it and it was quick. And I was going to do that, but I kind of felt like I should try and keep it as... Uh oh, look at that. I'm bending my straw. Just what I told you not to do. Do as I say, not as I do. Is that what, what the saying is? You can tell when you get off because it just... It just starts really going haywire. And once it goes haywire, it feels like the whole thing is going to do it. keep getting out of camera I'm sorry so let's kind of push this in it won't go in very far just a little bit so it covers up the end of the straw here Okay, let me cut this off. Put my ribbon over here in the box and my tape string away. Okay, so we have our sturdy straw now. Up here it doesn't matter as much what it looks like because it's going to be inside of the empty spool, the empty ribbon spool. So let's do that next. So I peeled off the paper, the ribbon spools, you know, have the, the cardboard on each side. I peeled that all off and then I very carefully went around and trimmed it at the base to get all of the glue and tape off of it and then I went around the inside I found it was best to hold the knife still and move this around the knife and it just cut it off 
Please be very careful. Your exacto knife, as you know, are really sharp. And then to kind of cover it up a little bit, I once again got out my rose gold. And I went around the edges because I want to put that washi tape on there. So I kind of covered up the cardboard a little bit with the rose gold. And you want to pick a washi tape that is just about the same size. That works good. And then we'll go ahead and put that on. Now with the washi tape, even though it says it's tape, it does not stick permanently. This is art glitter glue. It doesn't have glitter in it. It dries very clear. Start with the art glitter glue on here. It does dry fast. But it dries permanent. Mm -hmm. Where's my washcloth? Now, depending on how see-through your tape is, you may have to go around this twice to get it to make a nice solid covering. Gonna wrap that one around a little bit more. Right to there. Go ahead and squish it out. Get that extra glue off of it. Gonna hold that, otherwise it will just peel off until the that glue gets it dry. Until the glue dries. go. Okay, let's see. Should I do a second wrap? Yes, I'm going to do a second wrap on mine. You decide how you'd like to do yours. I just like mine to be more solid and less see-through. So I'm going to go ahead and Wrap around a second time. Okay. Right there. Looks like we only have to go right to there. off. Got some ribbon there. <laughs> okay. Seal it up nice and good. Press it around. Make sure there's no air bubbles in it. Using your hand as the bone folder this time. Well, it does move around quite a bit, so you'll have to be careful with it. The washi tape with the glue is slippery. There we go.
it says on there smile with me <laughs> I love that okay now where is oh there it is we are memory keepers hole punch we're gonna need that and you're gonna need the large hole and you're going to punch it a couple of times with this large hole to get it to be as large a hole as that. They're not the same. They look close, but when you try to fit them, they are not. So be careful that you don't insert the bottom half under here. Find your where your tape came together good. Because you're going to put it right in there. And I center it. And then if you need to see where you're going, which I do, you need to take that little piece out. Make sure you don't punch through the edge of your cardboard. So now you're just taking out little pieces at a time. Whoops, I didn't get it all out of there. I think it's because the glue is still damp. Okay, let's try it. Oh, look at that. I think it's going to work. So carefully wind it up in there. You're going to wind it so this comes up here and you're going to hot glue this to the top. Let me trim off my ribbon there a little bit. There we go. Okay. So you're going to want to make sure it's in there nice and straight. Otherwise your wand won't stand up straight. And we're going to hot glue right here. So I'm going to pull that down just slightly and pull it out. Going to put my hot glue in the top. Push it back in there and run it up to the top. And there we go. So it does take it a little while to dry. Then I use the same size hole punch and I got as close to this. Um, I got as close to the straw as possible and I punched another hole. And then I did it again on this side. Get as close as you can. Now we have two holes. Can you see those in there? Yeah, there they are. Those holes there we're going to use to insert our ribbon. So let's do that next. Our ribbon is where? Okay, I already have this one tied together. So you can see I've wrapped a, I've wrapped, whoops, I don't want to see that much on my table. Wrapped a nice piece of ribbon tied around it. But now these will pull out either direction unless you have glued them down to it. So what I did was I went through with my art glitter 
and I glued in here and I glued under there and I got it all nice and glued together so that the ribbons won't pull out they won't pull out then I ran these up through the hole See if I can get it through there to get my little tweezers out. Oh, that's not going to work. Let me try this one. There we go. Oh, life is goofy sometimes. Okay. So I kind of pulled that knot up in there as far as I can. In that hole. And then I took a piece of score tape. And put it on the inside. I also tied my ribbon to the center post, double knotted it, put my score tape over here as well. Okay. We're going to switch it around so we have the flower, the bling coming out both sides of the wand. Now we need to put the other one together. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Got a lot of ribbon here, my goodness. There we go. Let's take that one off there. Kind of even those up. Let's put this one on. This one. And this one. I wonder if I had a short one in there. See if any of them are super short. Not that one. Well, it doesn't look like any of them are super short. So let's find a little ribbon here. use this one since we were already using it. Goodness, those scissors need to be sharpened. Cut a length of ribbon. Doesn't have to be very long. Find your middle of your of all of your ribbons. Tie this around. Make sure these are even or fairly even. We're going to cut them off and trim them anyway. 
Then what I did, like I said, I put some art glitter glue in to hold those ribbons together so that they didn't pull out. Because otherwise they do. Come around to this side and do the same thing. Pull that piece of ribbon back and just put some glue in there. And just that'll hold these really well. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be enough that they won't separate. Then we have our two pieces here again. Oh, we better do our second knot. And bring our piece back here. I think if I do this right this time, it would be by cutting this at an angle. I'm pushing it through there together, I hope. Oh, I still didn't do it, see? There we go. Yay! Okay, if it's long enough, I'll make my knot around here. Around the center post. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now inside here we have a little bit of washi tape, or sorry, score tape. We want to peel that off. And then we're going to adhere our ribbon to that so that it doesn't stick out. Trim off the excess. That also kind of holds it in place. And we've got one on this side. Now if your score tape won't come up, just use a bone folder or something. Rub it back down in there good so it adheres to the piece you're sticking it to. Once you do that, it'll come right off. I'm going to stick one of these to that one. And one over there. Trim off anything that might think it's going to sneak out of there. Oh goodness, might have to get my new scissors out. And then same way over here, there's a little bit of score tape left to adhere to. Right over on the edge. And then maybe just apply a little glue to it. Okay. Doesn't look so hot right now, does it? But we're going to heat it up with some hot glue. And we're going to put just a little hot glue right where those holes are. Well, let's see. Maybe we're not. Maybe on the inside. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go around to this side for this one. We 
We don't want it to come out the edges here. If it does, you're going to need to be brave and wipe it off, even though it's hot. Just don't burn yourself. Okay, there we go. Get rid of all the little glue tails. Oh, sorry about my nose. Good heavens. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. I love ribbon. Look at that. It's too long, but gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's go down to the base and we're going to get our base piece finished. And you won't believe it, but we really are almost done. Okay, to do the base. What color shall we pick? I think it should be pink. I had a pretty pink one out here. But I don't know what I did with it. I think it got away. Let's get rid of that. Not in there. Oh, look at that. Here it is. It's this one by my mind's eye. So what I did was I turned this upside down. And on my ribbons. And I hope it'll work on these. They're so small. On the other one, I just used the bigger ribbon. And I thought, well, on this one, maybe I wanted to use the same thing that I was using. But maybe I should use that pink right there. That would be easier than trying to get a pin through that. So let me find that. It's not that one. There it is. So I cut some lengths. Oh, it'll match that button perfectly. Cut some lengths about this long. Let's see how long that is. About eight and a half inches. And I cut, how many did I cut? Eight or four? I don't know, let's count. I hope I had that in the camera. Oh my gosh, I have to learn so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I cut four pieces at eight and a half inches. And then Found my center by giving them each a little crease. My belt was rubbing against the doorknob. <laughs> Could you hear it? I creased the center. I very carefully made a hole in it. See that? Oh, let me get my hands out the way. Anyway, I punched a hole in it. You're going to stick it on your brad with the shiny side of your ribbon up. Just like this. Just like this. I took my next one and found my center. I gave it a little hole punch with my tool here. And I put this one on the opposite direction. Brads are kind of hard to work with. I gave it a little bit of glue to hold it in its design.
not much, doesn't take much. So now we have this X. You can see we're going to kind of make a star point. Crease this one. Carefully give it a hole punch. Put a little glue around the hole. Doesn't take much. Now we're going to go this way. Starting to look like a starfish. All of our shiny side of our ribbon is facing up. We have one more. Oh, look at that. I pulled that one. Let's get a different one. I got through that one wrong, and I don't know if you can see it, but I caused a run in it, just like in my old pair of stockings. Hope I didn't date myself on that. I'm going to flip it over to the more matte side and try and punch it that way. Okay, we're better this time. Turn this. A little glue around the hole. There we go. Okay. We are getting there. So now we have this pretty little dangle. Kind of like a little fairy dress. You could dance around. So then we have this brad still sticking out here. See that? Okay. We are going to take that and we're going to fold it over and make it a little more bulky. There we go. We're just going to fold it over. You see that? I just folded it right in half. The reason I did that is because I wanted it to be a little fatter and just a little bit shorter so it'll still stick in this hole with that dowel with that with that um, skewer in there so now they're going to go together easy so we're going to take this we're going to put hot glue on it kind of like to keep it tight there going to put hot glue on the ribbon as well as on the middle. Gonna push that in there. Hold it just temporarily. Be careful if that's a metal brad like I have. The brad does get hot. Now I've got too much glue there. So I'm going to carefully peel some of that off. So it's not all over the place. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think so. And I got a little bit on my ribbon there. I think it's going to be okay. I hope it's going to be okay. Terrible to get this far and have it not be work work right. Okay. You can still see some, but we are going to put a ribbon on the front of this. Okay, so here we are. A naked wand. Partially dressed wand. 
almost a flower. So let's make our flowers. Let's put that aside, let all that hot glue dry. Get rid of our ribbons. And let's bring up our first batch of these. Okay, so on these, again, you have the shorter half petal. We're going to call it a petal. The half fold. We're going to put glue on the underside. And we're going to, oh, I guess I better fold these first. Got an accordion fold the centers too. I accordion folded the outers, but not the centers. So here we have this. We're going to put that part that we glued. We're going to slip it in neatly. against that other one. If there's any excess glue, take it off. You don't want to go over this crease line, otherwise it will not crease right and it won't come together right on the flower. So once again, we got to do our fold. We start by folding up, down, down and up, down and up. The um, die that I used, it already has this scoring mark in it and it kind of indents it, especially if you just cut one at a time. It indents it very nicely. Two at a time, the second one's not quite as um, indented, but it still is. It, it works very well. Again, you put the glue on Carefully match them up. Don't go over that line. Right there. Every once in a while I just push them back together. This one starts up. Whoops! Got away! The larger ones are a little easier. Okay. Go to this one. A little bit of glue. Putting it together. Matching up the holes, but not going over that line. And you do want to try and fold these pretty, pretty um, evenly on that line. If they get too much out of control, when you go to glue them on your circle to make the flower, they will get um, harder and harder to line up. You can see I still have a little bit of washi tape there. Thought I got it all, but I did not. But this time we're just going to glue it in there. And it looks like we have one more. Oh, I hope I'm not using too many. Might be, we'll see. little bit of glue. Back here we go. Line it up. We're just trying to keep those holes nice and even. Let me get my hands out of the way. 
it says I want to focus on all those little faces so the holes are still showing up okay I think this is gonna be too many I might be making a big mistake we'll see if it is we'll cut it down to size and then I'll tell you not to use six but to use five but let's find out okay so you come back around you got that half flower piece that half petal put your glue on there Put them together don't go over that line but line up your holes there we go give it a little crease so it comes back together okay this is going to be the telltale all oh i think six is too many let's see what happens when we squish it all together Oh, but it makes a pretty one. What do you think? Too many? I think I need to take one out. So right here. We'll remove it right there. Got that piece. And then... See, where does it come together? Right there. I'm going to just clip it there. I'm going to take out this one section. So we only need five sections, not six. I was mistaken. Because six is too large for the little center part. It just makes it too squishy. We're going to put that back on there. Line up those holes. It's a little thicker now because I didn't remove, I didn't tear my paper apart. I just cut it. So it still had paper on the double paper on the other side. It's going to make a little thicker flower there. Now let's try it. Oh yes, this is much better. Look at this. It's coming together. Oh, goodness. These are kind of difficult. I do have to tell you. Okay. We got that far. See that? I'm going to put my heavy hole punch on it. Just to kind of hold it down while I work on this one. Okay. We're going to use five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll take out the sixth one. Okay, again on the half petal. Please take a little more glue. Oh, it's got a little glue top on it. Let's pull that out. There we go. And we're going to glue that to this one. I forgot to fold them again. You can see I still have a little piece of washi tape there. But we're going to leave it. I'm going to put that down in there. We're going to glue those together. And we're going to fold up our next one. They do need to be creased nicely, but not so tightly that, they're, uh, that they tear. You don't want to crease it too hard, too fast. Otherwise, this piece will get, um, with double-sided paper, it will 
tear the top upper portion of the paper. Just slide that on there. Line up those holes. Accordion fold this one. There we go. Little glue on that half petal. There we go. Last one that we're going to accordion fold. At least on this side of the flower. Okay, line up those holes. There we go, look at that. Now we're ready to wrestle with this one. I do like to kind of pull these back together and make sure they're creased. Because they really want to fight you going into that circle. I find out on this one I do need six. Okay, the half petal. Make sure you're gluing it the direction you want to point out. You don't want to put the back on the front of your flower if you have a specific side. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Got a crown. Look at that. So, ready? Here we go. Kind of got to fight with it a little bit. But look at this. It's happening. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So let's put that over there. Now we need to cut out our one circle. Now this one I made with this cup because I like the way that it fit on the flower, on the back of the bigger flower. It's a little bigger, made a nicer, um, right here. This fit around this piece nicely. I'm gonna fussy cut my circle. You know, I love these scissors. They don't cut ribbon worth a darn, but man, they cut a piece of paper. It's because I have used them for about 20 years. <laughs> and they have glue all over them. And paint. Hot glue. But boy, this is a pair of Fiskars. And they still cut paper like a charm. I absolutely love them. But I do need a new pair of those. I went to look for one the other day. And I saw, didn't see this kind. So maybe if I go to Joann's or something, I'll find them there. I hope. I'm going to put it around the ink. Just to cover up that white part of the paper. Okay. Now, <laughs> sorry, it's going to go on the back of your big flower. So let's do that first. So what I do, before I do that, oh, there it went, came undone. 
Before I do that, I like to take this and I like to find kind of the center on it. Found my center. I draw a nice dark dot in the center with my pencil. And I go around it and around it and around it with my art glitter glue. Just like that. Then, you see there's a little hole in there? I use that to help me find the center of that flower. Excuse my head. Once you hit the center, hold it for a while. Hold it down for a little bit. Take a look at your flower. Be sure that it's kind of nicely uh, splayed apart there. Now when it starts to hold a little bit, I just like to reinforce it. I go between each petal right at the end. I give it a squirt of glitter glue. You could use regular glue on this. You don't have to use glitter glue. I'm using glitter glue because I love it. And I love how fast it dries for this project. Then on the inside, glue those little petals together. Can you see that? There. Now, that needs to dry. So let's find this heavy Stampin' Up Then we're going to cut a circle, a two and a half inch circle out of this paper, I think. I hope. And I'm not. Look at that. It's not going to fit. Yes, it is. I'm going to make it fit. I'm not going to really see it. Okay. Right about there. You can see I have this mat I'm working on. I make a cross in the center. This really helps when it comes to getting the center of your flower on the center of this. I make a nice dark dot of pencil lead here so that I can see it through this hole right here. See, we're going to pull that together and you can see probably that that pencil lead is there. So that's what we're going to do is glue that on there. So I don't want to put it really in the center. I want to be able to see that part. Gosh, that side's pretty too. Oh no, now I don't know which side to use. I think I might use that side. I think I might flip it over. I was going to use some polka dots, but... I think I might go that way. That's a prettier flower. Squish it all together before that glue dries over there. Pick it up. Get it near that center hole. I really think I probably could have just used four of these. 
on this one. These, it's a pretty tight flower there in the center. You want to just separate these, kind of move them a little bit around so that they're not all bunched up in one area. There we go. So you can see, whoops, not that way you can't, that pencil lead in the center. It's kind of over there. But that helps you to even it up there. And that will help. Okay. Now once again, I go ahead and put some glue in the center. Kind of run it around the edges there. And we better set something on it. Set our whole bunch there. And we need a circle. So this is my uh, creative memories hole punch. And there we are. We just need a small, this is just like a one inch. This one's a two and a half. And this one here is about two and three quarters. Oh no, it's three. This one's about three inches. Okay. Now we take our little center circle. We run our glue around it. Center that up between all of these little holes here. There we go. See how it's centered up with, well, pretty well centered up with all these little holes here. That just kind of makes it look nice. And that'll help when you go to put your button in too. I can see it's off a little bit. Let me look at it this way. Yeah, let's see if I can move it over just slightly. There we go. What do you think? Is that okay? I think it's okay. All right. Now, let's move back out a little bit. This one has set up pretty good. Let's put our glue on this one. See, we have these holes here, right here, these, we're going to kind of use those to help us line it up, and these, so we can kind of line up in between these. It's a little hard to do, but I think I'm pretty close. So we have a center. Look at that! Woohoo! Okay, bring your wand back over. The magic is happening. And here we go. Right here. We are going to run the art glitter glue around this edge. Now it's going to dry clear. If it spills over in the center, we don't care at all. But if it spills to the outside, we're going to try to clean it up a little bit. Even though it dries clear, we don't want it to look messy in there. Okay. 
let's do it this way. Right here. I want to line the post up with this petal. Here we go. So I'm kind of feeling underneath there. And I feel that petal, that crease of the petal there, right here. Underneath all that ribbon. And it looks like I've got it pretty well evened up. Kind of looking up there, as well as down here. Now I'm just going to run this towel. Let's see. I actually need it to be just the edge. I'm going to take a little bit of that glue off the edge. It does dry clear, so if you can't get it all, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Sometimes the best thing that can happen with a piece of art or something is that it can be it can be um, <laughs> there can be mistakes in it. Sometimes that's the best thing. Okay, one side of our flower is done. Look at that. Well, not quite. We need a center. But we're going to move on to our next piece. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And if you felt like um, on this other side, let's try just four. Since this one looks pretty tight. So this time we'll try just four. Now let's, um, I was talking about this. Sorry, I wasn't showing it to you again. I am so bad about that. I forget there's a camera up there that I'm looking at. So, on this next side, I'm going to try just four of these instead of... We went from six down to five. Now I'm going to go to four. So let's set this over here, and we're going to put our hole punch back on top of it to hold that centerpiece down on the flower. Okay. Hello. Are you on video with me? I'm almost done. Ooh, dinner. I will come in there for that. Did you hear that? My husband made his dinner. Are you hungry? <laughs> we should all go to dinner together. We are almost done. Oh, I hear my cat trying to get in the door. Oh, it's my husband coming in the door. Okay, here we go. Last piece. And we gotta line that up. We want to line one of our petals up with, whoops. We wanna line one of our petals up just like we did on the other side. The petals aren't going to line up match match perfectly because of how they folded and oh boy they're sure pretty look at that up on my camera it looks pretty good we have a lot to learn here <laughs> look at that pretty now, I need some center bling. I was going to use this one. I'm going to have to hot glue that, I'll bet. Nope. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun here. Going to put that on the center. I'm going to get our blingy butterfly. We're going to put hot glue on him. Happy butterfly. 
you to be permanently attached to a flower. And there we go, there's one side. So we'll flip it over. Very carefully on our butterfly. We'll get out our other flower. By the way, these are Prima flowers. Don't forget to save your back paper when you're done with it because it can be used on your scrapbooking. flower on the center. And our little blingy butterfly. Oops, almost used too much hot glue. And we're going to glue him on here. And there we go. Let's have a look at the whole thing. Well, they look... I wonder if I should trim those. My granddaughter, Amelia, would love them just this long. But I think they're a little too long. So I think we're going to even them up a little bit. Not those. Quick trip with the scissors. Here we go. Oh, this one. Now let's do these. Oh, this one. There we go. That one's okay. So we want to make sure they're about the same as the other one. I think probably right about here. Oh, beautiful. Probably could be trimmed up a little better than that. Now don't forget, everything's critical here. The last little bit, your last eight. Don't forget to trim those up. Give them a nice angle cut. Just looks nicer. It gives a better finished look. And there you have it. Back. I don't know. Do you save all your ribbon bits? I have a canister I put all my ribbon bits into. I don't know what I think I'm going to do. Just these little pieces and not these little triangles. But I put them all in there and I guess maybe I think I'm going to do something with them someday. So there we have it. What do you think? Got one curly ribbon in there, don't we? Oops. So what do you think? Got our butterflies. We got our center. Got our other side. Our pretty flowers. We got a beautiful wand. Oh! You know what we forgot? Our bow. We forgot our little bow. Oh my gosh. Here we go. There we go. This way? 
No, this way. This way. Okay. We're going to put that right there. Like I said, if you don't want your bows to come apart, put a little bit of glue in them. It'll hold them. Oh, look at that. It squirted right through. Yay. Okay. A little bit of hot glue. Put our little bow on there. Now, but be careful of the hot glue. And we are done. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. What do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, it's so pretty. Do you think it carries magic? My granddaughter, such a princess. Oh, I love her so much. She would love this one. She would think it had magic. Anyway, that is your tutorial on an accordion flower wand that has a double head. Have big plans. I have lots of ideas. Um, we'll be doing some scrapbook albums. And I just got my paper in today. What was it? It was Stamperia. Look at this. I got the roses and lace. So I'm going to be doing an album with this one. I can't wait. It's just too beautiful. And I'd love to show it to you. But my hubby has dinner ready, so I must go. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.